morning, Diego. Good morning, François. And good morning, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of What's New in Sim Center AMC. Today, we are excited to share with you some of the newest features in our solution. From platform and interfaces to complex physics phenomena, our team has been hard at work to elevate your user experience. With newest features of SimCenter MSIM 2310 and 2404, our latest release is designed to exceed your expectations and adapt to evolving needs of the industry. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and let's see why exactly you should update to newest SimCenter MSIM. But before we start, is it worth mentioning the agenda, Igor? Yes. Out of hundreds of features of last two releases, we present a glimpse into 35 that stand as examples of innovation in four different areas – vehicle, thermal fluid, electrics, and platform. We will show you how we apply our new features to specific applications from various industries, including automotive, aerospace, and energy. So stay tuned and let's get started. Building a validated model of the vehicle is even easier when you have a reference. In this release, we added vehicle database, which includes 13 longitudinal vehicle models for performance and consumption analysis. Each of them is based on the open source data and contain validation results. This means they can be used out of the box or as a starting point to model a vehicle you have. Just change a few parameters and you're good to go. We continue to optimize your workflow to make sure you achieve the best results with the smallest number of clicks possible. In this version, we added a generic marine sensor which allows you to measure water, current, wind and ship properties all at once, and you can choose which one of them to send to a port and use in your control system. Simple and coaxial rotors were added to the flight dynamics part of our aerospace and marine library, which lets you easily design your rotor craft. With just few components, you can define and simulate different versions of your rotor craft and compare their performance in different environments. Thank you, Igor, for sharing insight on those first and new improved features. In recent years, we've seen a great interest from major companies in the aerospace and marine industry in our solutions. Among their challenges, they have to develop and optimize performances of new propulsion systems, including fuel cells, hydrogen, and batteries, technologies that we'll be talking about later today. Speaking of environments, we're expanding library of the predefined data and components, which makes it easier for users to do simulation out of the box. In this release, we added a predefined Mars atmosphere model to our aerospace and marine library, which makes it easier now to run simulations on this red planet for all future space explorers. Simply open one of the demo models, the quadrocopter for example, and change environment to see how it will perform in extraterrestrial conditions. Back to Earth, where we also improved our Ground Designer app. Defining the test road profile is now even easier. With extra parameters that can be exposed to the study manager, you can run your vehicle on the different types of roads much easier. Varying the road properties can be done through expressions, which can also depend on the vehicle parameters. You can easily change turn radius, slope and bump heights to check the performance of your vehicle in all road conditions. But let's zoom out and consider the roads have no bumps, just like in your country, and we're looking at the global performance of the vehicle on the given road. For that, we can use Track Import tool. The process becomes even easier with the latest improvement. Simply import your road file in a GPX or TXYZ file format, generate a speed profile from GG diagram, and run your vehicle on the given test profile to assess the performance of 16 degrees freedom vehicle, on this road. Very nice, Ego. So great that we can study the performances of vehicles in so many environments, from the red to the blue planet. I want to come back on the road import feature and stress the fact that in the framework of EV developments, it can also be used to work on the recharge infrastructure. Indeed, if you know your vehicle range and user journeys of your drivers, you will be able to define where your charging station should be installed along the way. But before we drive, we need to design and manufacture a vehicle. Our improved well-to-wheel app will help you to estimate emissions from the full fuel life cycle of all types – conventional, hybrid, BEV, and fuel cell cars or trucks. And large energy pathway database for fuels, electricity, and hydrogen in Europe, China, and US will make the process even easier. 
With that tool, you can balance the total value from well to wheel, but also the financial aspects, total cost of ownership, total purchase cost, total operating cost, and more. We simplify driver definition for our vehicle models by grouping all drivers in one single component. The driver, as well as vehicle parameters, can be linked to the given vehicle automatically, and from the set of industry standard maneuvers and trajectories, you can now run various vehicle tests much easier. Also, the newest demo will demonstrate the ease of the usability on example of Formula Student race car, so everyone can test its performance on different maneuvers in split seconds. Very nice. So as you can see, many different updates for vehicle simulations in Center EMC. And without further ado, we are going to the next part, thermofluid updates. As part of the continuous development of post-processing of your fluid system, in this release we improved Sketch Animation tool. Not only you can visualize the pressure, temperature and flow of your gas liquid system, current and voltage in your electrical circuit or temperature of your thermal system. You can now also visualize liquid temperature inside the tanks. This makes your system analysis, post-processing and reports easier and even more representative. Just like the tanks, our heat exchangers get this update too. You can visualize simulation results of your two-phase flow model directly on the sketch. To get quicker access to the results, to identify subcooled and superheated zones and to track pressure across your sketch without the need of plotting results. The newest centrifugal compressor pre-design app of our propulsion library will allow you to compute flow path and weight of compressors, visualize centrifugal compressor layout and show the weight distribution between different elements – discs, blades, diffuser, shaft and more. And with the pre-processed plots, you can access the properties of the designed compressor to verify your inputs even before you run a simulation. Similar app was added to a turbine part. With Turbine Pre-Design app, you can easily define and compute flow path and weight distribution among parts. Check your design on the pre-processed plots and visualize the layout. This and many more apps can be found in the app space. Use it to quickly access familiar apps and discover new ones. Those visualizations effort are not just nice animations or gimmicks, it really brings value. It allows you, the users, to do a quick check of the validity of your model but also makes it easier to communicate about your models with your managers and colleagues. Now let's see what our team has been up to in the field of hydraulics and CAD import. With the set of the extra parameters introduced in the most recent G-Rotor pump model, you can now define viscous friction to different parts of the pump, which allow you to simulate overall mechanical losses, torque and efficiency much more accurately. No matter if you build the model from scratch or use CAD import tool to import the geometry of the pump, you can easily access and change those frictions to model the pump behavior even better. Speaking of CAD import, we improved model revisions and versions handling in our latest update of this tool. As always, use your volume CAD model of pipe network, import it to AmySim and get automatically generated model in AmySim with all parameters assigned to the right component. And with the newest feature, you can track the new revisions of the design, compare differences between parameters of the CAD and AmySim model, and more. A new functionality was added to Valve Builder for hydraulic and thermohydraulic library. From newest release, you can add the pre-charge check valve to your design using Valve Builder app. As always, Use dedicated component to open the app to create a valve you want and add pre-charge check valve to any path you need. New feature was introduced to our cabin thermal management model. Now you can import simulation data of your complex cabin geometry directly without the need of the co-simulation between SimCenter AmySim and SimCenter Star CCM Plus. Simply define sets of the simulation points and run those beforehand to then import the results to SimCenter AmySim in a map or table format. Wow, there are loads of new features for design of hydraulic systems. This is great to see when one knows that hydraulic was one of the first topics addressed when the first release of AmySim came out. The CAD import and CFD data exchange allows connecting our system models, also referred as 1D, to the 3D world, 
being CFD or structural simulations in a couple of clicks. Next, we'll talk about improvements to our two-phase full modeling. In the newest release, we introduced corrected mass flow rate and corrected rotary speed in our compressor model from the two-phase flow library. This allows you to characterize your compressor independently from the test fluid with which, for example, the component was tested in documentation you have, and use it in the model with your own fluid to analyze how does it work for the exact system you have. We continue to enhance usability of every emissim component. This time, thin heat exchange element was improved. We moved it from two-phase flow to thermal library, removed flow rate conversion requirement, and reworked all the demos related to it. As a result, improved workflow of creating such models, especially those with big discretization and less parameters that you need to define. We introduced capability to model a drift in our two-phase flow pipes. Just like in real systems, vapor and liquid might not have the same velocity, so you can now model this slip effect using one of the two correlations we introduced in the newest release. With this feature, you can better calculate distribution of the fluid in the networks and capture the impact of the slip in your cooling systems. We added two hydrogen injection demos, which were modeled using pneumatic component design library to capture the dynamic behavior of those. In these demos, we focused on detailed system model of the injector, coupling pneumatics with electromagnetic actuator, and taking a closer look into the impact of the Joel Thompson effect in them. New battery thermal management system demo shows the approach of using SimCenter AmySim throughout the process of design of such thermal system, starting from the requirements and simplest model to determine overall needed cooling on a certain test profile. Different tools and methods are used to make model more detailed and precise. Once model is validated, it's been reduced to improve CPU time but keep required accuracy, to then run large DOE and optimizations to achieve the best design. Those were some of the important updates in the thermal fluid part. And with Olivier, Product Line Manager for Aerospace and Defense, joining us here. Hi Olivier, I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite new features of all? Thanks, gentlemen. Yes, my favorite is actually the one you did not mention yet. Uh, in fact, we made a cryogenic prototype library uh, available to all users. Um, and all you need to do is to follow a few steps to, to make it available. So you can start studying cryogenic tank, which, by the way, is a capability the industry has a high, a very high demand for. That's a very important point. Thank you, Olivier, and big thanks to the Thermo Fluid team for those developments. Now let's jump into electrical features and improvements. We continue to develop our battery models and introduce new simulation techniques. This time we had the Pseudo 2D electrochemical model and Sinclair single particle model with electrolyte SPME. Pseudo 2D model allows you to implement a detailed representation of battery internal states for multiple particles for each electrode. An expanded database of pre-validated chemistries will let you select one of those without the need to define parameters yourself. New SPME electrochemical model, on the other hand, will give you easier access to the lithium plating and stripping during charge and discharge. And by introducing agent model of lithium plating and cell degradation, you can assess your battery performance over long-term usage. We continue to sophisticate our electric motor models as well. In this release, we added new, more detailed thermal model for the most used IPMSM machine. And with the new app, you can import your thermal model directly from SimCenter eMachine Design software. The model can be used for air, duct, and oil spray cooling circuits, and detailed level of discretization will allow you to identify the performance of your cooling loop in each separate section of the motor, like stator, rotor, and winding. New model is also fast to run and suitable for real-time simulation, which keeps your control engineer happy. And speaking on behalf of one of them, that's important. Indeed, Ego. Battery-driven vehicles or BEVs are more and more present on the roads, and battery development has received a lot of attention in the last years. 
We as Siemens, we have been working with major actors on the field since the beginning and always make sure we have the required features and technologies available to tackle any challenge we encounter in this industry. Our fuel cell library received an update with a new reversible solid oxide cell component, which can work as both fuel cell and electrolyzer. The component defined through a tabulated test or datasheet data you provide, or through a predictive model based on electrochemical equations. With this model, you can capture temperature, pressure, and species concentration impact on performance, while new test bench demo can serve as a good start to model and test this kind of systems. Solar panel component received its improvement as well. Using one component, you can model a cell, panel, or array of your solar power plant. With new sets of parameters, it's easier to define your solar panel properties directly from the datasheet, scale those characteristics for system sizing and scalability studies, and connectivity with thermal model will let you analyze the temperature through the cycle. To define those cycles, like sun radiation, as always, use available datasheet of sun activity and irradiance to test your solar plant performance in all corners of the world. Electronics is a part that can be also done in SIM Center AMSIM in the context of system analysis. As one of the improvements, we introduced new simple operational amplifier model. A small set of parameters will let you quickly define operational amplifier from a datasheet and depending on schematics you have, you can use one with or without saturation model. Simply use it in the circuit along with any other component from Electrical Basics library to build your voltage follower, gain, integrator, and more. As you can see, our electrical updates touch almost everything that's related to electrics. But this is what I want to ask Benoit, our product manager for SimCenter AMC Electrical Solutions. Hi Benoit, we see that our new features coming from many different areas. What is the current trend of the industry in electrification? Thanks, Francois and Igor. It's always a pleasure to discuss innovation with you. Electrification is trendy, but actually highly related to net zero emissions target by 2050 which means it impacts all industries. Battery demand for electric vehicles, of course, is constantly breaking records, but stationary battery energy storage systems are quickly emerging. They are connected to green energy sources and integrated into hydrogen ecosystems. SimCenter MSIM is supporting our customers in finding the right energy mix for the specific usage, whether for immobility or for stationary applications. The decarbonation journey is so short, systems are so complex that system simulation is mandatory. Regarding aerospace, I don't even need to mention, they are part of it. And that's why we, who support innovators all over the world, should also keep up to make sure our engineers have the right tools they need. Thanks a lot, Benoit. Always happy to have you here. And thanks to everyone involved in those developments. Now let's finish the day with last but not least, platform improvements. In the newest release, we introduce a graph digitizer app, which will let you import a table you have from a test study or datasheet directly from the image. New app support both manual and automatic color-based detection of the curve. Simply define axis and select the curve on the picture you want to import, then by click of the button, you can convert it to a usable data table. Refine and adjust points position directly inside the app and use this curve in any component you export it for. You can even save the project and continue working with the import afterwards, so you won't lose any progress. With new update of CAD import tool, you can now import a 3D mechanical model using a recursive method. Using recursive junctions from 3D mechanical library, each junction position depends on the previous junction connected to it, which lets the tool to import your 3D mechanical model and grow it as a tree, ensuring the geometrical constraints of the system met even for the most complex geometries. The method is also very CPU time efficient, which means that your imported model will calculate fast and easy. In the new release, we improved connectivity between SimCenter AmySim and TeamCenter Simulation. With a dedicated interface, you, as a model expert, can easily upload SimCenter AmySim model into TeamCenter Active Workspace 
and manage study and watch parameters of variables mapping from model items. Once uploaded, simulation analysts can locate and perform variation of runs with parameters you identified and upload results of his studies to the analyst revision part. Another way of model management can be done using SimCenter system simulation client for Git, which recently received multiple updates. Those are including the possibility to delete collections stored on the server based on the access right you have, with several pre-checks and options to see who and why removed something from the server. Merging collections becomes easier too, as now you can trace and visualize conflicts during this process and resolve several merged conflicts at the same time. Collaboration and data exchange is of course another very important part of every product development project. This is why we at Siemens develop the best solutions, making sure that engineering teams always use the last available model, but also that models are connected with the other components of the broader project, from requirements to product manufacturing. To achieve this, we are first developing our Client for Git tool as well as making sure we have a complete PLM integration. In this release, we improve handling of pre-trained neural networks by adding support of nine additional ONNX nodes, both for import and conversion when working with ONNX files. With that feature, your import capability of ONNX expand, and as always, you can export your neural network as FMU or as function, which you can share with your colleagues so they can use it inside other software. That being said, from this release, our exported FMUs of version 3.0 can now optionally provide the adjoint derivatives in addition to the directional derivatives, which are used in the AI models. This allows you to use SimCenter Amusing during the training of your AI models much easier and use it in combination with Python and Julia tools. Another update our FMI export tool received this year is the FMI reset function. This extra option will allow you to reinitiate the model without unloading it, so your overall experience working in different target environments where Amy CMFMU is used becomes much, much easier. I would say when it comes to platform improvements this year, our developers focus on connectivity. What do you think, Igor? Let's ask Karim, our product manager for SimCenter and Sim Platform. Hi, Karim. We understand that our users don't work on their SimCenter MC models in a vacuum. It's clear to see that more and more there is a need for efficient collaboration and a high level of traceability in our customers' work. How do you tackle those needs from a platform level? Thanks, Igor and Francois. Indeed, uh, all of our customers today place a huge amount of value on the integration and traceability of their system simulation models within their enterprise digital thread. So lots to say here. As you know, SimCenter AIMSIM is constantly improving on its link with TeamCenter simulation and in fact, recently we've added the possibility to retrieve simulation results based directly on parameter sets that have been defined in Team Center simulation. Now, with that, we hope to bridge the gap between the functional requirements of the product and the predicted performance characteristics of the digital twin. Another key challenge for our customers today is ensuring that their system simulation models are based on the latest designs and finding and maintaining a direct link with the original uh, bill of materials. Now, on that front, the model upgrade feature in CAD import uh, helps our users maintain an ever tighter link with their CAD data by enabling them to update their system simulation models uh, in accordance to changes that have been made in the CAD so that they can keep the link uh, without having to start their models from scratch every time. And of course, if you're doing faster paced iteration on your models, then SimCenter Client for Git remains your ideal companion. With our latest upgrades, uh, you can set up third-party comparison and merging tools so that you can fully utilize uh, its merging capabilities. And there are other neat touches, like my very own favorite, the graph digitizer. Uh, so as you've already shown, the time it takes to go from a curve on a graph to an AIMSIM ready table has never been shorter. And for me, it's this kind of feature that helps reduce the friction throughout our users' lives that really helps make a difference. Thank you, Karim, and thank you for watching this first episode. We hope this video has been valuable to you, our user community. Make sure you download the latest version of SimCenter AMSIM and let us know what was your favorite feature. Yes, indeed. We'd be very happy to hear your feedbacks. So please comment the video, let us know what you thought of this first episode. 
I want to thank again Igor for joining me in this journey and for being the Swiss knife behind this episode. Thank you, Francois. Bye for now and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.